So this just pearly thing situation has black YouTube under siege. And of course, in all of the turmoil, your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson is here to get his grift on. So today I wanna to talk about two really big players in this, Dainika Marie and Six the Goddess. Now, stop the show, both of them look real good. And if I wasn't on welfare, I would actually trick something off um, on the super chat, but I haven't got my check yet. But there are two African-American young ladies, both very attractive, with really good fan bases that have combined on one particular channel called D6, where they do a live stream and discussions and things like that. But they still have their both separate YouTube entities that they run and talk about mainly supporting black men and issues like that and to help brothers stop simping. Mainly their fan base is typically African-American men. But because of the just pearly things fallout, black YouTube has somewhat of a split. A lot of us are on one side of the coin. That means we are against the whole just pearly things debacle. And some black content creators are for just pearly things. And those who are kind of for just pearly things have made a split against those who are against just pearly things. So people used to be friends and it ain't cool no more, but fast forward. So now let's get to what's going on now, right? <clears throat> Dainika Marie has been going to war against certain people. You know, same thing as Six the Goddess, right? So people on the side of Dainika Marie are really in her ear telling her to part ways with Six the Goddess. Now, I don't know why they would do that because they're both cool. They don't have any beef. But you know what? I think this is important to know. We all have past, right? And Six the Goddess has a past according to some people that they don't want Dainika Marie to associate herself with as a brand. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna let Dainika Marie talk about it in this clip. You know, it's been a lot of <laughs> excuse my language already, that has been going on as of late. Um, so much so to the point to where my husband, right, is getting screenshots. My husband is getting inboxed with people trying to tell him to tell me not to work with certain people and, and certain people we are talking about my good sis six the goddess okay now we briefly touched base on this over on her channel y'all go check it out i think she did a, a great job a phenomenal job of just addressing all of the the nonsense and putting it putting it all to rest so shout out to her for that i, I addressed this briefly over on her platform but i thought that it would only be right for me to address it on my own personal platform, just to make it abundantly clear that nothing that y'all say, nothing that y'all do will deter me from working with who I want to work with. You know what I'm saying? Just because you don't like somebody or just because you feel a way about somebody does not mean that the next person has to abide by whatever rules that you see fit. You know what I mean? And even my husband hollered at me like, these people are nuts. These people are tripping. You know, my husband is like, look, some of the realest people are the people who you know, come from a, a background that maybe a lot of people don't agree with. Like, we're not set up to where we want to judge people based upon their past. You know what I mean? 
So for y'all to even come to my husband on this bitch made shit like, oh, your your wife, tell your wife to stay away from Sister Goddess. Sister Goddess used to do this, and Sister Goddess said that, and Sister Goddess, and Sister Goddess. Y'all gotta understand that a, a real man like my husband is looking at y'all sideways. Like this some bitch made shit. You know what I mean? And like I said, even my husband had to put it to me plainly like I, some of the most solid people that I even rock with have certain paths that a lot of people would say is quote unquote sketchy, right? So again, y'all, y'all gotta y'all gotta stop with this bullshit. It's pathetic. Um, and like I even said over on six, uh, platform, like nobody is perfect. We all come from, uh, certain upbringings that we all have certain lifestyles that maybe we once lived that we had to evolve from, that we had to learn from and grow from to become the people that you see before you today, you know? So if I would have used that same logic as it pertains to, uh, six on y'all, a lot of y'all would not be fuck wittable if we want to be honest and clear. So th this is just trash that y'all are doing this. I think y'all are doing way too much. And since we are on the topic of my husband, I think that it's also fair that I address this and acknowledge this as well. Now, aside of y'all being on <laughs> talking about, oh, tell your wife not to work with with six to cut is to your wife. Aside from that, it's also been a shit um, that a lot of these internet have been talking in regards to my husband, um, in which I would like to go ahead and address it for myself and tell you all that have these issues. You would there, right? Say anything that you're saying on the internet, on the world wide web to my husband's face to my face nothing you know what i mean so i, I think it's also right to acknowledge that y'all are doing too much as it pertains to that as well a lot of y'all want to talk slick out of sight of your damn mouth about my husband and what he's doing over here and how he's over here baby like when i tell you that it's smooth selling let's get that abundantly clear see a lot of y'all want to speak on what's going on in somebody else's marriage and how somebody else's is, is conducting their household. Meanwhile, nigga, you don't have one. See, it's easy to pop your shit from behind a computer screen when you don't have a household that you are providing for. So, allegedly, Six the Goddess, who now lives somewhere in the South. I'm not sure exactly what city, but I've heard it could be in Atlanta or Memphis or someplace like that. She used to be, um, booty clapping sounds. Allegedly, she used to be like a dancer. And I'm not talking about the dancers like break dancing. I mean like booty clapping dancing. And because of the booty clapping dancing allegation, well, they don't want Dynika Marie to be hanging out with Six the Goddess. And that's causing a division between some of the following in Dynika Marie's camp and possibly in Six the Goddess camp. But as it seems, she's going to still rock with Six the Goddess. Now, she makes some really good points in that stream. We all have a past. We all did something that we're not proud of. And just because somebody was doing something 10 years ago or five years ago, it doesn't mean that they are doing that particular thing right now. And I kind of want to just talk about that. Like, hey, I don't really know Six the Goddess. I know she has a beef with another brother by the name of Nathan Daly, which I might get into. And he has some alleged things to say about her. But the reality is this. We all got to pass, right? And hey, I used to be a simp. Stop the show. <laughs> I'm still simping, so some things never change. But my question is to you, do you believe that Dynika Marie and Six the Goddess shouldn't be cool no more simply because Six the Goddess has a so-called alleged past? I mean, if that's the case, I don't know, I guess a lot of us probably wouldn't follow each other. 
But guys, you comment below and let me know if this just pearly things don't have this stuff like going crazy. I mean, people are just like black YouTube has been in shambles, y'all. Subscribe, hit the bell. I'm out.